So news about upcoming gangster movies and TV shows is pretty sparse these days, especially in regards to the Italian-American Mafia. The genre is, sadly, pretty much dead, if you ask me. Sure, there will be new films occasionally, and there is actually a steady stream of B-movie gangster flicks that come out here and there, but that run of gangster films from the 1970s to the 1990s, including The Godfather, Goodfellas and Casino, will never be replicated. The genre was given a swan song from the man who reinvented it, Martin Scorsese, with his picture, The Irishman, in 2019, featuring Robert De Niro, Al Pacino and Joe Pesci, and I think that is pretty much that. Because it's not only just the gangster genre per se, it's a generation of actors like De Niro and Pacino whose performances over the years in these kind of films is intertwined with the success of the genre. And then there's directors like Martin Scorsese and Francis Ford Coppola who are past retirement age. Anyway, we do have some gangster movie news, and it involves Robert De Niro being set to return to the mob genre, which he is such a staple of, in a new film called Wise Guys. Mob movie fanatics will no doubt know that the Martin Scorsese classic Goodfellas is based on a book called Wise Guy, and that's fitting, as the script to Wise Guys, the new movie, has been written by Nicholas Pileggi, the writer of Wise Guy, and co-screenwriter of Goodfellas and Casino. He's mob movie royalty at this point, as is De Niro. And another Scorsese link is that his frequent producer, Erwin Winkler, is also attached to the project. The film will be directed by Barry Levinson. I like Levinson, he's made some good films back in the days, but he's well past his prime, so who knows how this film will turn out. When you look at the story of Wise Guys, I wouldn't mind Levinson back in the 80s making the movie, but right now he's kind of relegated to making TV movies that very few people have heard of, and most of them are kind of decent, nothing really terrible and nothing really amazing. Interestingly, he's also slated to direct a making of The Godfather, starring Oscar Isaac and Jake Gyllenhaal. While we're on this subject of Pileggi, just out of interest, I remember him being linked to another gangster project, a TV show called Kansas City, which he would write with Terence Winter, who wrote episodes of The Sopranos and Boardwalk Empire. That entire show has been rejigged. Pileggi is seemingly not attached, but Winter is, and a teaser trailer was released a couple of months ago, with it now being called Tulsa King, and it stars Sylvester Stallone. Remember when Stallone was slated to play mob enforcer Greg Scarpa in a biopic? There just seems to be so much news with gangster movies that just never materialises or ends up completely different from when it's first talked about. Anyway, back to Wise Guys. According to The Hollywood Reporter who broke the story, the project is centred on Vito Genovese and Frank Costello, two Italian-American crime bosses that ran their respective families in the middle of the 20th century. In 1957, Genovese attempted to assassinate Costello but failed, although he was wounded and decided to retire, as much as one can retire from the Mafia. Now anyone who knows about mob history needs no introduction to Vito Genovese or Frank Costello, two of the most interesting historical figures of La Cosa Nostra, and both of whom are thought to be inspirations for Don Vito Corleone in The Godfather, who De Niro obviously played in The Godfather Part Two. Genovese and Costello are thought to have come up in the mob world together, along with Charlie Luciano, under the guidance of Arnold Rothstein. They are considered the founding members of the National Crime Syndicate and have very interesting lives. Genovese eventually became the head of the most powerful Italian-American crime family after Luciano was imprisoned, and he himself had to give up the role to Frank Costello after he was imprisoned. But when Genovese was eventually released, Costello was unwilling to give back power to him, leading Genovese to make an attempt on Costello's life. Costello survived the assassination attempt, but the ordeal led him to stepping aside for Genovese. I'm summarising obviously, but the real history is all interesting stuff and involves other notable individuals such as Vincent Gigante and Albert Anastasia. So who is De Niro playing? Well, this is where it gets weird. Because the Hollywood Reporter said that sources have said De Niro will play both characters. Like what? What does that even mean? How would that even work? It's not as if they were twins or anything, this isn't the craze. Will it just be two De Niro's saying you talking to me, you talking to me, to each other for two hours? Hilarious that they've left it there by saying he will play both characters and have not elaborated. 
I mean, unless you were going for some avant-garde type film where maybe De Niro is playing some version of the characters after they've died, narrating the story or something funky like that, I was looking at the article and I was thinking, could this be a typo or something? But it says right there in black and white, De Niro would play both characters. I mean, I imagine the bulk of this story will take place when Genovese is in his 40s or 50s and Costello when he was in his 50s to 60s. So already De Niro isn't exactly age appropriate. He's nearly 80. And then to think he'll play both roles? I don't know. With movie news these days, you just never know until the movie is on screen in front of you. For all we know, they might have just said that just to generate hype and controversy. But it remains to be seen, and De Niro as either Vita Genovese or Frank Costello is a mouth-watering prospect. He even looks a bit like Genovese. But if anything, this kind of news frustrates me. Because I think to myself, De Niro was in The Irishman, he was in The Joker, he's going to be in Killers of the Flower Moon, and he still got the goods. But there was a huge period starting off in the early 2000s where he was just doing paycheck movies. But his age and look at that time was perfect for the likes of Frank Sheeran, William Hale, Vito Genovese, and all the kind of characters he's playing now. In any case, any gangster movie news is good news these days, and when names like De Niro and Pelleggi are in the mix, it's definitely worth keeping an eye out for. So what do you think of this project? Are you looking forward to it? Do you think Robert De Niro is too old for the role? Let me know in the comments below, and before we finish, I just want to thank my patrons, Andre Millington, Nicholas Curtis, and Dirk K. And also my channel members, the new on Goam24, Rikers, and Michael Awatwi. Thanks for watching.